Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer live pop-up chat. It is Friday the 26th of April 2019. My goodness, where is this year going? It is flying by. I can't believe we are nearly into May. And as of now, as of this time of recording, we still do not have any news on Baby Sussex. As far as we are aware, Baby Sussex has not made it, not made it into the world and we are still waiting, as are all of the royal reporters out there and news crews, they are still waiting to be told that the Duchess has gone into labour, so we will have to wait um, and see what comes of that. Now I'm going to go and find the chat room straight away. Hello to you all and I hope you have had an amazing day um, and an amazing week as well. Aha, I see the chat room. I hope you're, you're all getting no notifications as well because it would be pretty crummy if no one turned up. Oh, I can see you all. That's fine. Hello. Hello to everybody. I was just, I just didn't see that anybody was there. That's all. Uh, yes, hello to everybody. Um, how, how am I? I'm fine. Thank you, D&G Explorers. Thank you for popping in. Um, guys, by the way, D&G Explorers are a creator. They do lots of travel, lots of Disney and cruises. So do go and check out their channel. If you like cruises and Disney. Who doesn't like cruises and Disney? Um, and in case you're wondering, people, I am, of course, wearing the Queen's fringe tiara today. Um, nice and shiny and spiky. It goes with my hair, which I like. I like a nice bit of height to a tiara. <laughs> OK, so... Let's get cracking with the main purpose of this video. So there has been some news that William and Catherine visited Harry and Meghan at Frogmore Cottage on Sunday after following the Easter Sunday service. So as we know, um, as to many of you, many of you were disappointed, of course, that uh, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, did not attend the Easter Sunday service. But I'm sure we can all understand why. She's heavily pregnant. She's expecting any day now and she she wanted to nest and and relax at home at Frogmore Cottage which is completely understandable so I'm really really happy that she chose to do that however following or should I say after after the, the service William and Catherine did make the visit to Frogmore Cottage now how do we know this happened well of course they haven't made an announcement of such news why would they? It's private. But we do have a source in, and I'm going to start actually with the original source, which is Omid Scobie for Harper's Bazaar. Now, I do believe that this is the original article. Um, so I'm going to start with this and then we'll then we'll go to a couple of other articles that follow on from this. It's a bit like Chinese whispers. You know, when when you whisper one thing and then by the time it gets back to you, um, it's a completely different story. That is what's happened in this instance. There is one story, which I believe is the original source, and it's got pushed into this feud narrative. And I'm going to give the feud narrative a big black fan flap right from the outset because it's completely false, and you'll see why in a moment. So, without further ado, I would like to say that I do believe Omid Scobie is a reliable source, and I do think that he does get little snippets of, inf of inside information, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So... Let's read the original article and then, of course, we... Oh, is my camera a bit high? I think you're getting a lovely shot of my ceiling. Let's lower it. There we go. That's better. Um, so, Prince William and Duchess Kate have visited Meghan at Frogmore. Um, sources tell Bazaar.com that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were guests at Meghan and Harry's new Windsor home on Easter Sunday. OK. Uh, with the arrival of baby Sussex in imminent... Can't say that word... It's no surprise that Duchess Meghan is quite rightly staying close to home before the big day. Her mother, Doria, has been by her side at Frogmore Cottage with Prince Harry for over a week, we do believe the 16th, um, and a few close friends, including makeup artist Daniel Martin, have dropped by for moral support. Well, we did know that Martin is in the country because uh, I think there was paparazzi reports of him boarding a plane. Um, now, the Duchess of Sussex can add more loved ones to the growing list of home visits after the Cambridges paid a surprise visit to the couple's Windsor Digs on Sunday, April the 21st. Sources tell Bazaar.com that Prince William and Duchess Kate headed to the couple's new house after attending Easter Church service alongside the Queen at St George's Chapel at Windsor. Um, and this is quoted, so quotes, 
William and Catherine visited because Meghan was unable to attend the service, a close source tells Bizarre. Well, we know that anyway because she wasn't there. But anyway, uh, they wanted to be supportive and see how she's doing. It was a lovely afternoon. Um, the visit was the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's first time at Harry and Meghan's new house. Now that I can believe because uh, William and Catherine spend most of their time at their Norfolk home, which is Animal Hall, at weekends and holidays. And of course, it has been Easter holidays here in the UK. So they will have been at Anma for the for the past couple of weeks, literally. Um, and of course, uh, weekends they go there. And in the week, they remain at their apartment at Kensington Palace. So they would have probably had little opportunity to visit the Sussexes before now. So this would have been, I think, um, their first chance to do so. Um, it carries on. Meg and Harry are really settled in now, a friend of the couple tells Bazaar. It's a truly lovely home and they have done such a great job with the space. So much light and positive energy. I couldn't think of a better place to start a family. Now it does lead to the question, who is the source? Who is this close friend that is talking? And do Harry and Meghan, um, do they know about it? Uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Uh, four days after the visit, um, Harry and Kate saw each other once again, of course, we saw uh, for the Anzac. Now, I do believe that that was all, hang on, yeah, that was all about uh, William and Catherine visiting, visiting the Sussexes. Cut to the next day, where the Daily Mail rehashes the entire article and we get something completely different. So this is where the Chinese whispers come in. So from that initial article, which is just basically the Sussexes got, were visited by the Cambridges, we now get Kate tries to heal the rift between the princes as she and William make their first visit to Harry and Meghan's new Frogmore cottage home for 30 minute cup of tea and chat. So tries to heal the rift. Can you see how they're pushing that, that narrative again? Um, Rumours circulating of an ongoing rift between the Cambridges and the Sussexes. Um, so again, it's it's pushing that. Duchess of Cambridge reportedly advised Harry to offer William an olive branch. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why, 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 why? Uh, the Duchess of Cambridge has reportedly steps in to try and heal the ongoing rift between the princes William and Harry. Kate is said to have advised Harry to offer his older brother an olive branch in a bid to put tensions between them to rest. Rumours of a fractured relationship, blah, 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 blah. So you can see how they've taken a really innocent thing, a really normal, natural, brotherly visit into feud mode. They've gone completely into feud mode, which I'm going to give a massive black fan plot to because it's all a load of complete rubbish and I'm not even going to carry on reading that. Cut to, um, I think, a, a 20 or so hours ago. No, yeah, no, this was purchased, this was published today by Chris Ship at 10.55 a.m. Uh, the Clear the Air meeting designed to heal Harry and William's rift. So now people, have, can you see how they've gone with the one innocent story and turned it completely into rift mode? And it's just not. It's just really, really, really not. Um, so I don't know what, but I do know why they do it. They do it for money and views and clicks. Um, but uh, it's just really, 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 really annoying. So let's go back to Omid's source. Now, he says close, close friend of, of the Sussexes, of Harry and Meghan's. His article kind of comes um, a couple of days following the Easter Sunday service. Now, we know that at the Easter Sunday service, um, journalists and, and some royal spectators were saying that, well, it, it reignited the whole talk about the feud because Harry walked separately to William. And we know that they are not conjoined twins. They do not have, they are not joined at the hip. They do not have to follow each other around. But it did kick up these rift rumours again. So is this little bit of leaked information in response to that? I feel it possibly could be. I mean, it's one of the only ways that they have of trying to put right false information. So does Omid actually have um, actually have someone that he's talking to 
from inside the royal family, a friend of Harry and Meghan's. Are, do Harry and Meghan um, sometimes perhaps ask their friends to, to talk to the press on their behalf? Um, just to get, just to, just to correct some of these false stories. I've got a feeling that the timing of all of this looks like it possibly could. Um, just to kind of counteract that negative press. Now I'm going to go to the comment section and see what you are all saying because I'm sure you've probably got a lot of things to say. Um, Alicia says, I saw on Instagram that there was an ambulance spotted outside Frogmore Cottage. Um, no, it, well, it wasn't directly outside Frogmore Cottage. It was on the Frogmore estate, um, but it could have been for anything. Don't forget there are workers there. Um, it could have been for anything. And perhaps an ambulance might be on standby. I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't mean that, that, she's, that she's in the ambulance. It, it definitely, Megan de was definitely not in the ambulance. It was parked up. Um, and it was actually quite a distance away from the actual cottage and it was well outside of the actual cottage entrance gates. So I don't, I don't believe it was for Megan, although there is a possibility it could have been on standby. Um, as we know, baby is imminent. So, um, but no, no, I do not believe Megan has gone into labour just yet. Um, hello to everyone who's just joined. Um, Marg Oz says, hope Duchess Catherine bought a camera. We want to see the new house, as do I. Um, but no, I don't think we'll be getting any any snippets. Uh, thank you for saying you love my channel, Opal Jones. Um, Cynthia says, I'm sure they had a lovely visit, but all I want to know is if the baby is here. I don't think so. Reports were also coming in that they stayed for around 30 minutes. I mean, again, that's not a particularly long visit, but, you know, the Cambridges could have been going obviously back off to Norfolk or back off to Kensington Palace uh, but it was enough to have a look around their home and, and and see it for the first time if indeed the 30 minutes is true it could have been longer who knows um, Ros says William made a wonderful speech he will be a great king he has a gravity and I hope he keeps his joy yes um, you're referring to the speech he made which I put on my channel today um, and he was at the Al Noor Mosque and he was uh, obviously um, making a very profound speech. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Yes, it's a spiky tiara. Uh, Live, Love and Laugh says, Harry and Catherine seem to enjoy a moment together yesterday. Good to see. It reminded me very much of how things used to be when Harry used to tag along with either William or Catherine or William and Catherine. Um, so it did remind me of, of those days, days gone by. Um, but... I think people obviously missed Meghan's presence as well, but we we all understand why Meghan couldn't be there. It's very understandable. Um, Sharon Huff says, love seeing Duchess Catherine with Harry and glad to hear they are visiting. Well, there we go. If there was such a rift, why would they be visiting? Uh, bonjour to Florence. And yes, bonjour de la, de la Réunion. Um, where are the Royal Rift tabloids? Everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, Rhonda says, kind of kills the feud rumours, doesn't it? I would say so. But then they were picking on the 30 minute thing and saying, well, if there wasn't a rift, why didn't they stay longer? So it, it just rumbles on and on and on. It really, really does. Um, yes, it's called Chinese Whispers. Uh, Claire Green says, when is the baby coming? I don't know. We're still waiting. Yes, different papers report things completely differently. Um, I have no idea what they brought for a housewarming gift. I would love to know. Maybe a, a box of avocados. How are the cats? They're doing well. You'll see them in the weekly vlog. Claire Green says, Why did the press not make a big deal about Kate and William spending lots of time away from Kensington, yet when Harry and Meghan move away, they're making a big, a big deal? Well, I think they're over the fact that they've moved away from Kensington now, but it's just... They're still rumbling on with this feud business. Yes, oh my God, why don't they leave them alone? I agree, Angela. Oh, yes, Christine, I reckon they had... I reckon Megan prepared an avocado toast lunch too. Ugh, I don't like avocados. Uh, negative sells papers. It, it, unfortunately, it does, yes. Uh, yes, because people get excited about feuds. But don't, don't click on them. Yes, baloney. 
Um, it's the fringe, the the fringe tiara. Uh, Live, love, and laugh says the only reason I look at the Daily Mail is their quality photos. Otherwise, they suck. Um, Patricia says, how do you know the rift narrative is false? Did you see how the prince is acting at Easter? Yes, and I saw um, Harry and having a good time chatting. I didn't see any notion of a rift whatsoever. Like I say, they are not conjoined. They do not have to spend time glued at the hip. Harry is his own person. And I think William is very happy and almost kind of, you know, wanting him to go off and live his own life. You know, Harry spent so much time as, in a way, the third wheel in the relationship of, you know, William and Catherine. He was wanted. I'm not, I'm not saying for one moment that he wasn't wanted and that he wasn't welcomed as part of the royal trio. But I think William, as a brother, will know that it's nice and it's right for Harry to go off and stand on his own two feet, live his own life, raise his own family, be with his own wife, be with his own child, do his own thing. And I think William, as a protective older brother, will want to do that, will want him to have that life. And that is what I see. Uh, Claire Green says, I don't buy or watch anything with negative things about Meghan and Harry. Don't buy their books and uh, they will stop. Uh, oh, hang on. I think I've, I think I've skipped a bit too far down. Hang on. Just going back up. Okay. Uh, DNG Explorers says, news releases, false information. What? Well, there you go. <laughs> Angela says, brothers squabble, totally normal. Well, I don't think they are squabbling. That's the whole point. Um, I really don't. But can you see how they've gone from one completely innocent article into everyone else just spewing out a load of nonsense? Uh, Tonya says, sad part is on Twitter that they are saying the Queen made them... The Queen did not banish anybody. How many times during the summer did we hear that the Queen had banished Camilla from the castle? I mean, she must have banished Camilla about ten times over the summer. Don't believe a word of it, my loves. Uh, yes, no, do not believe that the made-up feuds. Um, Magna says, my theory is that the press are not happy uh, because of the decision of no photo up after the baby Sussex's arrival. This is revenge because of the lost money opportunity. Well, I definitely agree. I don't think they're happy. They're not getting their usual um, shots. Uh, M Davies is still waiting for Catherine to receive her uh, GCVO. Uh, well, she, she she does have. Hang on, I'm just I'm just skipping down a few. I just saw something. Uh, Rhonda says it would be good if they did have someone speaking up for them, since they cannot respond for themselves. Um, I have no idea who it would be. Um, I don't think it was an unannounced visit. It, it would have been a planned visit. I can imagine Meghan staying behind, getting everything ready for, for a little light cup of tea. Um, how many, 456 watching, my goodness. Um, hello to you all, wherever you may be. Um, Magnus says, could the Sussexes sell the baby photos to the highest bidder? Um, no, and I, I wouldn't have said so, even if the money was to go to charity, because... It, it puts them then firmly in that in that in that light that they are for sale and I don't think that they would ever do that to the, to themselves oh Jan says we have a saying babies are born on a full moon when is the next full moon Elaine says the only rift is between the trolls and the fans um Fragile Shadow says, Hi, I'm from California. I've been worried about Meghan Markle, uh, the Duchess of Sussex. It's hard to know what is true or false in the horrible news reports. I think what's happened is there has been so much noise going on that literally people are almost, and especially when they're continuing and to, to push these rumours about the feud, people are now questioning themselves. Is it true? You know, it's that old adage of say something oft often enough and with enough conviction and you actually start to believe it and you actually start to believe the lies. And I think we're in that situation now where so much has been spewed out continually that people are now doubting their own 
good judgment. But don't. The rumours of the rift are just not true. It's literally just two brothers that are now grown up. They're not boys anymore. They're, they're, they're not even young men. They are adults. They are adults with their own families, their own wives, their own families, and they need to go their own way. And that is what we're seeing. There is no rift. It is just growing up. It's life. Uh, Claire Green says, I just can't believe that it's 2019 and people still treat people like the old days. Being black or other ethnic groups doesn't mean that it's a passage to be racist. God bless Harry and Meghan and baby. I quite agree. Um, hello um, to Celestine in Florida. I'm just skipping down a few. Sorry if I've missed your comment. If it's really important, type it again. Um, Anna Maria says, how would they know the visit lasted 30 minutes? Well, I'm not entirely sure, unless, of course, the source did mention it. But Omid, in his initial source, didn't say about any time. So I'm not sure that it did last 30 minutes. That could have been made up by the other news reporters. Uh, Rose says, we hope for a healthy baby. Of course we do. Um, and, but how horrible if something goes wrong? We don't even want to think about anything going wrong at this stage. Uh, yes, I don't like avocados, but I love Mercedes. Mercedes, please sponsor me. I'm waiting for my Mercedes in avocado green. Uh, Rose says, if Megan offered you an avocado dish, would you eat it? Um, I would say... <laughs> I would say, please get your banana cake ready to take away the horrible taste of the avocado, and then I will try your avocado toast. D&G Explorer says, avocado's texture is what I think turns people off. It's an acquired taste. I went from dislike to love. Oh, 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 I tried it once. Oh, my love's my face. Oh, it was, oh, it was minging. Um, Jeff says, oh no, where have you gone, Jess? Jeff? I've lost your comment. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going back up to find you. Where's Jeff's gone? Sometimes my screen just jumps all the way down. Okay, where are you? Ah, Jeff. Um, Elliot, hope you watched that docu on High Clear Castle. I really want to. Thank you for reminding me about it. Uh, ooh, Elsie Poole says, I see you driving a vintage Jaguar. Yes, I have actually been looking at vintage cars, but they're incredibly expensive. I, I In fact, I wanted an E-type Jag. Um, you read my mind, but they are so expensive. They are classic cars and they are like way out of my league. Um, Robert thinks the baby will be late. I'm thinking now closer towards the very, very end of April, very early May. Um, Joyce says William is happy for Harry Harry has his own food now Yes, Harry has his own food and his own chickens um, What have Charles and Camilla up to? Well they've been laying a little bit low recently So I imagine they are just enjoying their Easter holidays Where they are, I'm not entirely sure um, They could have even gone to Scotland um, But I think that Camilla would have spent a little bit of time With her own family over Easter Kelly Trent says, grown men, separate lives, different paths from the start. Exactly. Uh, Mary Brun says, Omid reported that there is no feud. It's time as adults in their 30s that they have their separate households. He said they are closer than ever. That is entirely true. Um, Chibi Menthos, I hope I've said that correctly, says, as an older sibling, I agree. Yes, you want the best for your younger siblings. Ros says, William knows where... Uh, Rose have to diverge and he's glad to see him settled and happy. Exactly, because William knows what his path is and he wants Harry to have a meaningful role. Magna says, photographers try to invoke Diana's compassion by saying, um, common, I need to pay for my kids' college on the mortgage, that kind of stuff. Um, times have changed from Diana's day. Gone are the days where the press ch physically chase the royals. However, what we are seeing with the internet age and social media is that they are still being hounded, but in a very different way. Um, and in particular, with all of the fake news stories. Oh no, Claire said she was out and she heard someone talking about William cheating. That is how the rumours get spread. And then people believe them. 
Uh, Peter had his 61st birthday on Anzac Day. Um, happy birthday to you. Right, sorry again if I'm skipping, but yes, I think Doria did manage to get here without being photographed at all. And I would be very, very surprised if she wasn't here now. So I think we're going to have to accept that she probably did fly in on the 16th, maybe even on Oprah's private jet. Who knows? Uh, yes, the Queen didn't banish anybody. Uh, yes, Barbie. I was probably thinking of another word. <laughs> we have to keep it um, universal for all, don't we? Uh, Bonneto says, hi, happy I made it. Yes, you are right. William kept his word to his mum and kept Harry safe. Exactly. That's exactly what I think he's doing. Anita says, didn't the Queen invite the family over to Windsor after church for her birthday? Um, that is a possibility. And we don't we don't know when this visit happened. It could have happened immediately after and then they perhaps could have all gone up together to see the Queen. Or we could have seen um, them going up to see the Queen first and then going to Harry and Meghan's. We really do not know that. Um, it could have happened in any order. Oh, apparently May the 18th is the next full moon. OK. We'll see if you're correct. Robert English says, do you think the Duchess will allow her family any contact? At the moment, probably not. Um, not unless they can prove that they can, you know, that they can be trusted. Um, hello to Mrs. BSN who's just made it. Um, M. Davis says, we should be seeing a new fourth birthday picture of Princess Charlotte soon, four to five days. Unless Baby Sussex comes in that time frame. Um, no, I don't think they would delay it. I think if they were going to put out any photos for, to celebrate Princess Charlotte's birthday, which I think is pro probably likely, they will do that regardless. Um, it, it will not take away from anything to do with Baby, Sus Baby Sussex because that will be everywhere. Um, hey, Sam the King says, Poor Camilla has been living in a tent at Frogmore after the Queen threw her out of Windsor onto the East Terrace. Um, <laughs> oh, you should write for some of these um, lower grade press. Yes, thank you, moderators, for doing all the wonderful moderating. Uh, Martin Gahan says, The feud is total rubbish, and as I said earlier, I hope this shuts up the media. Uh, we can hope. We can live in hope. Mrs VSN says, when George was born, Harry said in an interview that he had not seen the baby, but sent congratulations to his brother and sister. I mean, yes, not everyone, not every member of the family is ever going to get there to, to visit on the on, on the same day or even very, very close. So, um, so yes, they get to see baby when they get to see baby. OK, just skipping through a few. Uh, again, we don't know if Megan's having a home birth. I think it's probably, again, quite likely, but um, Frimley Park could also be a really good option. Hey, Tim the King says, you think I'm joking about Camilla? <laughs> Let's hope she's not on the East Terrace in a cardboard box. Um, Selk Seaburrer says, where have you gone? Uh, when Doria came in for the cookbook, no one knew that she was here until they showed up. Exactly. Okay, so people... Hey, Tim the King says, I didn't say cardboard. It's a diamond, a diamante box. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's studied, studied with the Koh-i-Noor diamond. Uh, Becky Mungo says, you are the only source I believe as far as the royals is you. Thank you so, so much. I mean, and sometimes... You know, we only have to go on what we can see um, because the royals do not tell us everything. So a lot of royal watching, uh, a little bit like bird watching, you have to wait until something comes along that you can actually believe in and physically see. Or um, Otherwise, you know, you are kind of speculating. But I, at least I hope that my speculations are reasoned. Um, elderly Poodle says, we sold our 67 Jaguar XJ6 for, uh, what, 8,000 in the 80s. Oh, it'll be worth a fortune now. <laughs> oh, you should have held on to it. My goodness. I, that would have been, I don't know, 80,000 80, maybe? Something along that line. Uh, Lisa says, do you know if the hiring of a nanny is already decided on who it will be 
or will they wait until someone after the baby is born? Um, that is, we do not know that. I mean, that is one of the things that they are keeping incredibly private. I would imagine that she would have an idea of perhaps what she's looking for. If she's going to go for a traditional agency to have a nanny, or indeed if she has somebody in mind anyway. We really don't know. There were talks that she wanted a male. Um, again, I don't know. I don't know what she's going to go for. So we will have to just wait and see for that one. That's one of the things we've got to have to wait and see. Um, DM says, it was good to hear Omi Scobie outline why and how false news is generated. Uh, Robert English says, will the new royal baby have dual UK and USA citizenship? I, there's been a lot of talk about this. Now, I do believe that uh, because obviously Meghan is American, that the baby would have a claim to be an American citizen. I don't think, now correct me if I'm wrong, I do not know all the rules regarding um, citizenship. I haven't looked into it that deep, but I think you have to apply. So I think an application would have to be made um, by Harry and Meghan on behalf of baby Sussex to take up that birthright. I, I think I'm on the right track there. So it would be up to Harry and Meghan whether they would want to. Um, would that cause problems in later life for baby Sussex in terms of tax? There's been a lot of talk about, obviously, when Meghan is an official British citizen, will she renounce her American citizenship to avoid all of the tax implications and all of that business? So to make baby Sussex a dual citizen, to, to make that application right at the outset might not be a good idea if you see where I'm going with it. So I would tentatively say that Baby Sussex is entitled to be a dual citizen, but whether or not that application would be made, I don't know, and nobody's going to know until that happens. I would love to work with Omid. <laughs> Jamie says the baby better pop soon. I think we're all waiting. People are having headaches. People are taking days off work. People are hanging on every announcement from, from Instagram. Uh, no, I don't watch Royal Rota on ITV. Um, Magna says with Camilla, it's either the Queen or Charles that is throwing her out. Bags constantly packed. She's literally under the window, lo looking up, saying, please let me in. Uh, no, Camilla does not get chucked out of anywhere. It's all fake news. Uh, where can we find reliable sources? Oh, just, just stick with me and Omid. <laughs> That'll do you. Um... Do I think stories of the, of the surrogate are real? No. And we all know where those surrogate stories came from. From that lizard lady. Stay away from the lizard lady. She's nothing but trouble. Why are people having headaches? I don't know. I've had comments that people are having headaches because of the stress of waiting for baby Sussex. Seriously. Um, Mary says the baby is like a turkey. I want to know where you're going with this. You would have to watch for the timer to pop, meaning the baby is ready. Well, no, nowadays we stick we stick a, a, a meat thermometer in to see if it's done. I'm not suggesting that Harry sticks a meat thermometer anywhere near Meghan to see if baby's cooked. <gasps> Imagine. Um, Jamie's laughing at Lizard Lady. Who's Lizard Lady? You do not even want to know who Lizard Lady is. Um... <laughs> You do not even want to know. Um, M. Davies says, I wonder if Harry will have a tiara made for Meghan or if she will get a long t one on long-term loan. Oh, I don't know. I mean, the one that she had for a wedding, I feel, is quite a good all-rounder. It's one that she could wear with her hair down. It's one that she could wear with her, with her, her, hair, with her hair up. It's not too big. It's not too small. So I think the Queen Mary's Diamond Bandeau would actually be a really good choice for Meghan to, to keep. Um, either, she may even have, have two that she can interchange. 
I don't know. But I think the one that she wore for her wedding would be a good one to have on long-term loan. And also, the the band that sits on the base of it was changed for her hair colour. It was, I think, originally like a really pale white colour because it was originally worn by Queen Mary and they had it changed to dark to, to suit Meghan's dark hair. So, um, I think she may retain that one. But we'll see. We will see. No, you do not want to know who Lizard Lady is. I am not giving Lizard Lady any any promotion whatsoever. If you don't know who she is, just be thankful you don't. Uh, Mary Brunn says, Apparently, according to the Lizard Lady, the Queen also eats humans, and that's how she's able to stay healthy. Oh, I'm going to give Lizard Lady a big black fan flap. In fact, she needs this sticking somewhere else. Um, Jenny L says, I'm American, what is the best source? Literally, uh, most of the tabloids in the UK are following on with this feud nonsense. I wouldn't say particularly any of them are that good, if I'm quite honest. Uh, apparently 596 watching, my goodness. Uh... Claire Green says, I believe Harry seriously wants a baby girl to maintain that beautiful face of Megan. I think we might be getting a baby girl, but we don't know. I, I've i got a feeling. And kind of Bavaria says, stick that fan to the, to the lizard. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, M. Davies says, I wonder uh, what, would, what would or will be her first Yara event. Oh, I mean... <laughs> If she wasn't on maternity, it probably would have been the Trump state visit. But we we aren't sure whether she'll come out of maternity to do something with it or whether she'll just stick to the maternity um, and then not do anything with the Trump state visit. We don't at this point, we don't really know. We can speculate, but we don't really know. <laughs> no, I am. No, it definitely doesn't need an explanation. Yes, I wish Diana was here too to, to see all this. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, Selk Kabar says, when, when baby Sussex is of age, he or she can apply for himself. Yes, I, I imagine so. I mean, like I say, I, I am not an expert on these rules. Uh, but like I say, I think you have to apply and... I imagine when they, when he or she becomes of age, they probably could. Or, I don't know, because if Meghan renounces her citizenship, would that mean that Baby wouldn't? I don't know. It is a big, complex issue. Do I have a favourite royal? Um, alive or dead? Will the baby have a title? Um, will it be Lord or Lady? Um, unless the Queen makes any changes. Oh, alive. Um, Favourite royal alive. I think it has to be Queen Elizabeth. You cannot... Queen Elizabeth is a goddess. She's a goddess amongst mere mortals. With that beautiful white fluffy hair. And gorgeous collection of Lorna handbags. Countless shoes. Tiaras galore. It's got to be Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> My favourite dead queen has to be Queen Elizabeth I. She's my favourite dead queen. And Dead or Alive is a band. Well, used to be a band. Um, oh, not the asparagus lady. No, I do not believe William and Harry are having any type of feud whatsoever. Um, Alicia says, if I write a letter to Meghan and Harry congr congratulating them on the birth of their baby, do you think they will reply? Most possibly yes. Try it. Um, live, love and laugh in response to your question. I would say um, some people put big spins on things. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Elvie Poole says, yes, Queen Elizabeth, she was such a perfect young queen and such a perfect um, elder queen as well. We're in the glorious reigns of Gloriana right now. 
She's 93 years young and she's got a whole life ahead of her. Uh, thank you, Janet. M. Davies says, Camilla has tiaras in her keeping that she hasn't worn. The tech tiara, Strathmore Rose. Yes, um, Camilla inherit, but well, she didn't inherit directly uh, most of the Queen Mother's collection. But the Queen inherited, obviously, the Queen Mother's collection of jewellery. And I think she pretty much just took a few favourite pieces and mostly handed them down to Camilla. Uh, because Camilla does wear a lot of the Queen Mother's pieces and including some of the tiaras. Um, I did show the tiara, but I will gladly show again. It is the fringe tiara. And it's very sparkly. There we go. Um, Julie Miller says, I would feel better if Meghan and Harry's children would be British. I don't know what they're going to do, is the simple answer. Um, by the way, Lizard Lady is not called Lizard Lady, but you'll know why she's Lizard Lady if you know who she is. Okay, I am actually going to go now. It is, what is it? It's uh, 20 past nine. Uh, what am I going to do tonight? I am going to do some filming for my other channel, Elliot's British Life. I've got an unboxing to do for that channel. Um, I also need to film a few things extra for my weekly vlog. So please, I'm going to premiere my weekly vlog. I do it every uh, Sunday, which is 12 a.m. in the UK. So um, work out what time that is for you. I will be going live with my weekly vlog on Sunday. Um, and then I am going to tune into a live stream chat with Life With Favour. And I think for me in the UK, that's about 1 a.m. So it's a bit of a late night. So, and also I want to watch Gardener's World. And I'm sore and I'm aching because I um, I worked out yesterday in the gym and then I worked out today in my home gym. I am sore. My back is sore. My legs are sore. Um, my bottom is sore. Everything is sore. So I'm going to have a well-needed cup of tea after I've done some filming and then I'm going to relax uh, with probably another cup of tea and watch Gardener's World. I'm just reading some of the comments. Um, so if you've enjoyed this live stream, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. Hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, and if I need to do a pop-up, if baby comes, I will just do a 